What's up guys, this is a review of the Soundbrenner Pulse. It's a metronome watch that retails for 99 bucks. This is everything that you get right here. You get a thigh strap, you get the wrist strap, the watch itself, you get the instructions, you get a charger, and that charger is a USB connection. So if you're like me and you're using a MacBook that is newer, you need that adapter to go from USB-C to regular USB. So uh, this is everything you get. Pretty simple interface to charge this puppy. You just connect the magnetic three prongs right here to their counterpart on the charging platform. See how I can do this with one hand. And snaps right in. Shows a orange flashing light to show that it's charging. When it's finished charging, it'll show green. That charging process usually takes a few hours for it to fully charge and it's supposed to last for I think three to four hours of continuous play as well. So now you see that I have the Soundbrenner strapped on my wrist here. To turn the device on you simply spin, put two fingers on, you'll see it light up and vibrate indicating that it is on. At this point you would just scroll over to your Bluetooth settings and there's a sync button. You'd press that sync button and it, as soon as it pairs with this it'll light up blue indicating that they are connected. Now something to be careful of if your Bluetooth app settings have Bluetooth turned off for Soundbrenner, this will never connect. I got confused and thought I had a broken device for about five minutes because I never turned on the Bluetooth enabling for the specific app Soundbrenner. So go ahead and do that. Save yourself some pulling out of the hair. <laughs> uh, to turn this guy off, you simply do the same procedure. It'll light off, so you just spin two fingers on and it powers off. So super simple on off features on this. Okay, so I'm gonna go set this at a specific BPM and time signature and play a little bit, show you guys how it works. All right, so you'll now see the Soundbrenner beating in 4.4 4 at 94 beats per minute. I have it set there because I'm gonna demo a little bit of a song I wrote called Darlin' coming soon on this new EP I have called Render. pause right there so you'll see that I started getting a little bit ahead of that one beat there um, one thing I have a problem with this watch is that that vibration is kind of weak and it's hard to feel as your hand even moves just a little bit sometimes you can lose that pulse um, so I'm getting more used to it and as I get more calibrated I'm getting better with it and learning how to really utilize this watch but that's definitely a major flaw that it has is the pulse is hard to feel and that was just a simple um, picking guitar song when you start really strumming and your hand really starts moving it's very easy to feel or lose that feeling of the pulse there so I'd love to see in future generations a stronger pulse um, than what is automatically set on this guy other than that definitely a very useful feature especially for solo acoustic acts where you just need something to measure and help you keep in time um, Without this watch, I tend to drift quite a bit, maybe you know, 10, 20 beats per minute um, from start to finish, which is a ton. And it might not be noticeable to your ear, but having something just to give you a signal, something to say, hey, slow down or speed up is actually quite nice. So there's perks to it. Could it be better? Yes, definitely could be better. Does it have a long way to go? Yes, it does. <laughs> All right, hopefully this helped you guys out. Uh, if it did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you want to support me, feel free to check out my new EP that's coming out. It's called Render. I'll put the links below. Hope this helped you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.